What is going on, comic book fans? Welcome back to the channel. And after a three to four week hiatus, we are finally back with a new episode of Final Order Cut of Speculation and Recommendations. My friend Al from Golden Age Goodies on Instagram, and he has an amazing Facebook group, which is linked down in the description below, that has some of the best comic book speculation out there, have put our heads together this week. We have combed through Final Order Cut Off. We have picked out all the books that have speculation, and we're going to present those to you today, but I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a warning. There really isn't that many books on Final Order Cut Off that have anything worthy of truly speculating on. So this is going to be a very short and sweet video. I do have one recommendation to read that's on Final Order Cut Off, and there are two covers on next week's new comic day that I'm going to share with you. But guys, this should be a short and sweet video, so let's not waste any more time. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time, so let's go ahead and jump in to my two weekly Speculation Reminders. <laughs> The most important reminder that Al and I have for you guys every single week is that you guys have to do your own research. This is the most important thing. Al and I are going to present to you guys all the information that we found, but what you guys should do and what you guys need to do is go check out the comic book YouTubers you trust, other comic book websites that you trust, and other comic book apps that you trust. Gather the most information possible so that way you guys can make the best decisions possible for yourself because remember, you guys are spending your own hard-earned money on these books. Not our money, your money. And the final and last reminder that I have for you guys is that there are delays in comic books. So sometimes a book will show up on Final Order Cut Off and then get delayed. So I might speak about it on today's video, but it might not be on this week's Final Order Cut Off. It might move to next week. Or maybe this book will show up multiple times on Final Order Cut Off because that book's release date gets moved for one reason or another. All right, guys, those are my two weekly reminders for you for comic book speculation. Let's go ahead and dive into all the books on Final Order Cut Off that has speculation. All right, guys, before we dive into these books, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder. If you guys are interested in picking up any of the books that I'm about to talk about in today's video, you guys need to get your pre-orders in or to tell your local LCS to put their pre-orders in for these books by May 7th for your DC Scout and Vault books and May 8th for your Marvel and all the other indie titles. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive in to my cover lover picks for this weekend's Final Order Cutoff. All right, guys, there's only two covers on Final Order Cutoff that I think might do well on the secondary market in the future. And the second one has a caveat. So let's go ahead and dive into this first one. And it is for Deadpool Batter Blood issue number one. And it is the Scotty Young variant. I tell you guys every single time there's a Scotty Young cover to pick it up because you never know which one of these covers is going to do well in the future. And Scotty Young is just a very popular artist that people like. So guys, make sure you guys are picking up every single Scotty Young cover that you see. That's my personal opinion. Other people might think differently, but so many of his covers do well in the future because his art style is just beloved. So this cover features Deadpool. He's falling through the sky. He's shooting. People are shooting at him and it is just super duper cool. So that is my first suggestion. This second suggestion that I have for you guys is Loki issue number one, the art germ variant. Now this is the trade dress and for so many of these art germ covers, they usually do a one in 100 virgin variant. I think this cover is gorgeous and I could see this book doing well in the future because this is just such an awesome Loki cover. But guys, that is my personal opinion. Is this true hard facts? No, it's not. That's why it is called speculation. All right, guys, those are my two cover lover picks. Deadpool Batter Blood issue number one, the Scott Young variant, and Loki issue number one, the Art Germ Virgin variant, if they come out with that. If not, I don't think this book will do all that well. All right, guys, those are my two cover lover picks. Let's go ahead and dive in to the books that have speculation. All right, guys, there are four books on this section that we're going to talk about, so let's go ahead and dive into the first one. Now, this book we just spoke about in the cover lover section, we're talking about Deadpool Batter Blood issue number one. Now, this has the first appearance of Shatterstorm, which is a mashup character between Rob Liefeld's X-Force character of Shatterstar and Storm of the X-Men. So that's how you get Shatterstorm. Now, do I think this character is going to do well in the future? No, I do not. But that's why this is speculation. You guys need to do your own research, and you guys let me know down in the comments below if you think this character is going to be of any importance down the line. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move into the next book with Groot issue number two. This has the first appearance of Uggs, A-G-Z. How do you pronounce that? Uggs, Uggs? 
But this is a monster that destroyed Groot's homeworld. Again, do I think this character is going to do well in the future? No, I do not. But guys, if you think differently, let me know down in the comments below. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next one with Ultimate Invasion issue number one. Now, this is a four issue miniseries where Marvel will be reviving the Ultimate Universe that launched in the 2000s, featuring the ultimate versions of Marvel's most famous superheroes and helped in redefining them. So this is just going to be a new story where we're bringing back those characters, but so far there are no first appearances or anything of importance that has been released to the public. So I'm going to have to say you guys, do your own research. I really don't think this book is going to be worthy of speculating at all. Now, there are some really cool cards for this. There is that John Tyler Christopher's negative space variant of Miles Morales, which is pretty cool. There's also that Peach Momoko variant featuring Wasp. I like the Virgin variant. I think that's really cool. But other than that, I really don't think you guys should be speculating on this book at all. But guys, again, do your own research and let me know down in the comments below if you guys disagree with me or you guys agree with me. Now, there is one other book that we're going to talk about, but guys, I want you guys to heavily do your own research and go check out Al's Facebook group down in the comments below. He is a Star Wars fan. He knows so much more about this book than I do. But guys, make sure you guys are going over to his Facebook group and checking out Star Wars issue number 35 and also Star Wars issue number 34, the second print. I don't know a lot about it. I know in 34 there was a first appearance of Dr. Kuto in that. And also 35, there is supposed to be a Jedi appearance of some kind. But guys, down in the comments below, there is that Facebook group link. Make sure you're clicking on it. Make sure you're joining his Facebook group for up-to-date information all the way up into the final order caught-up dates for both Marvel and DC. He always updates all the way up to the last minute. So guys, Star Wars 34, second minute, Star Wars 35. Al has all the information over on his Facebook group for those books. All right, guys, those are all the books on this week's final order cutoff that has speculation. And I honestly don't think you guys should be speculating on any of these books. It's just not a good week. So guys, save your money. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move over to new comic book day for next week, which is May 10th of 2023. And let's talk about those cover lover picks. All right, guys, like I said, there are two covers on next week's new comic book day that I think might do well on the secondary market. And the first one up is Green Lantern issue number one, the big time collectibles Green Lantern exclusive foil edition. Now, the reason why I put this book on this list is because for the death of Superman 30th anniversary edition one shot, there was the gold foil edition that people went after. People really liked that book. And this Green Lantern book looks a lot like that. It just has the Green Lantern symbol. It's a foil green cover and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, there are a lot of different variants for this book from big time collectibles. I think they cover all the different spectrums of light from the lanterns. But guys, this one right here, the Green Lantern foil edition is my favorite. I think that book will do well on the secondary market. But guys, that's my opinion. Guys, let me know down in the comments below if you like a different one or you agree with me that this one from Big Time Collectibles is the one to go after. Now, there is one other cover that I really like and it is for Extreme Venomverse issue number one, the 1 in 50 Virgin variant. Now, why I like this is because it is the Virgin variant. I think taking away the trade dress from this book makes this book so much more special. And there is the first appearance of the Samurai Venom character in this book. So you get a first appearance and you also get an amazing cover from Linnell Francis Yu. All right, guys, those are my two cover lover picks. Let's go ahead and move over to my final order cutoff recommendation to read. All right, guys, the one book on Final Order Cutoff that I think you guys might want to consider picking up to read is a book called Dust Issue Number One. Now, this is coming from writer Brett Register and artist Gaston Gomez, and this book just sounds really cool to me, so I'm going to go ahead and read the synopsis for you guys. Jupiter has ignited. The Earth has turned to dust. The rich and powerful have built a utopia underground. The rest of humanity are left to die on the surface. Those below forge a life of luxury, while those above lead a life of poverty where only the strong survive. One of these few is a girl named Callie. Abandoned by her family, deported to the surface, Callie grew up tough, taking to a life of thievery to survive. At first glance, she might look like just another dust pirate, but what Kaylee doesn't know is that she's the hero of our story, and that secret she's just about to uncover will change the world forever. That just sounds really cool. It's a post-apocalyptic world and there's so many stories like that. But this book right here just sounds really cool to me. And it's from a writer that I don't know and I just want to check this book out. So Dust, number one, is my recommendation to read. All right, guys, that is it for Final Order Caught Off, speculation and recommendation. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. 
All right, guys, we are at the end of the video, and if you guys are still watching, you guys know exactly what you are. Let me hear you say it. You guys are legends. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. It helps the algorithm so much. Now, if you guys have not hit that like button just yet, guys, go down and hit that like button. Again, it helps the algorithm get this video out to more people. Now, if you enjoyed that video and you like combo content, but you guys are not subscribed, what are you doing? Get yourself subscribed, hit that bell for notifications, and smash that like button. All right, guys, that is it for me this week. I'll be back on Tuesday with my Wednesday pull list, and I'll also be pulling the winner of the last giveaway and announcing a new giveaway for some more amazing books. So make sure you guys are tuning in on Tuesday to see if you won last week's and then see how to enter the next giveaway. All right, guys, have yourself a great weekend, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.